and welcome, and thank you for joining me today to discuss the basics of Microsoft Azure. So, just as the title uh, infers, we are going to talk about the basics. These are going to be some of the things that you see as you first log into Azure for the first time. And the idea of this video is to just become familiar with some of the icons, some of the functions and features uh, right out of the gate. Uh, if you stick with us for the later videos in this series, we're going to talk about more specific uh, operations and tasks that you can do within Azure. Today, let's just talk about how you get started. So, as soon as you initially log into uh, Azure, you're going to see the Microsoft Azure dashboard. That is what you see here. Now, yours may look slightly different. Um, the, by default, the, uh, the actual dashboard could be a number of different colors depending on the theme that is chosen. Uh, typically, I found that a lot of Azure builds will have this sort of blue one as soon as you join. Um, I like either the black or white, it just makes it a little easier on my eyeballs. Um, but generally here, this is where you're going to find most of your just uh, settings for this Azure portal, as you can see here. Um, generally speaking, that you're going to look at this one time, make the settings that feel um, appropriate for you, depending on the power of the system that you're using, and then move on. But let's go ahead and just, while we're up here, let's start with some of these icons up here. So first of all, you have search resources. We will get into specifically what your resources actually encompass, but uh, essentially this is the ability to search for any of your existing resources, any of the existing systems, uh, storage accounts, uh, networking uh, resources, any of that stuff. So for example, my PDCs all start with PDC. If I wanted to bring up a list of all of the uh, 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 objects, the, all of the resources in my Azure portal that start with PDC, just start typing. If I'm looking for the PDC1, as you can see, here's the virtual machine and the network interface and so on. It's that simple. Uh, next to that is a very important icon. This is going to be your notifications. Now, I don't have any right now, but as we move on to the videos, you will notice that this is constantly getting uh, filled up. Whenever you do pretty much anything within Azure, you get a notification indicating that it's currently working on it, that it's completed. Uh, if there's any sort of updates, uh, of, uh, informational updates, they will also be in here. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely circle back on that later. Uh, this next icon is brand new. It's something that actually was just launched in the, the second week of May. It actually is a version of PowerShell in the cloud. Well, it's even more advanced than that, to be honest. Um, what it actually does is it gives you the ability to write code in Azure in either Unix Bash code or in PowerShell. At this time, since it's a brand new function, at the time of this video's recording, uh, currently the only option is Bash. Uh, PowerShell uh, in, in the cloud is not available uh, as of this date. Um, I hesitate to click on it only because when you see, when you click on it, it will actually ask you to create a storage account. The Azure Cloud Shell actually requires an Azure file share uh, to, uh, to actually use this function, which we're not going to do for this exact training, but uh, this is generally where you would find it. Um, following that is simply feedback and help. Help can be very helpful, obviously, especially when uh, it's something new that you're learning. This can sort, sort of uh, curb that learning curve. Um, finally, let's talk about these icons on the left. This is probably where you're going to spend most of your time while in Azure. This is how you perform most of the functions. Um, specific functions, again, we're going to talk about uh, in their specific videos, so we're not going to do any of this now, but just know that it's all here. When you click New, for example, you get a list of all of the different types of uh, uh, resources that you can create using this, uh, using this tool. Uh, finally, let's talk about the dashboard itself. That's this big open space in the center. Um, the dashboard is completely customizable. If you click Edit Dashboard, it brings up this grid, and it allows you to simply drag and drop that you've created for each of them. 
So there you have it. Uh, so that was pretty much the Microsoft Azure basics in a nutshell. Uh, those are some of the immediate things you're going to see as soon as you log in. And hopefully for any of you who have never used Azure before, uh, this introduction makes the platform just a little bit less intimidating. Uh, that was our intention here. Now obviously Microsoft Azure has a, a, a lot more functionality, a lot of other features that we did not even uh, mention today. Uh, but we are going to, as our series of episodic videos here continue to grow, we are going to pretty much tackle every aspect of Azure uh, as we can get to them. So initially, uh, hopefully this introduction was great for you, and I please encourage you to check out our other videos to, to learn more. And until next time, have a good one.